Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, there was an update, I believe it came out yesterday, but it got into my Switch today, so I'm going to have a look at it now. Um, uh, basically the version went from 1.1.4 to 1.2.0, as you can see. Uh, and we're going to go have a look and see what's new. Um, this is more or less my third attempt to record this video. I had some trouble with the equipment, so... Um, it's not quite exactly the way I wanted it to be, and you can see it's a bit later in the evening than I actually intended. I mean, you didn't know when I intended, but I, I did intend to record earlier, but I had some problems. Anyway, uh, so when we dive into the game here, you can see it is a bit late. Uh, we're just gonna go and look at some stuff that's new in the update. Basically, um, the main, I think, thrust of this update by the looks of things is because it was Earth Day in real life, uh, they're doing a similar event. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when Earth Day was, whether it was today or yesterday or the day before. It was sometime this week, uh, and they're doing a similar event in Animal Crossing. They're calling it Nature Day, I assume to avoid implying that this game takes place on the real planet Earth. Because it, it, it's got talking, walking animals. <laughs> anyway, um, so the first thing that you might notice from this new Nature Day event is that this fellow has visited. This is Leaf. Uh, he was in the game New Leaf. It wasn't named after him, but he was in it. And he just does gardening things, you can talk to him. I have already spoken to him in my previous attempt to record this, which is why he's saying again. Uh, but if you ask to shop, uh, he's got a bunch of stuff on offer. You can buy some uh, types of flowers, um, flower seeds that weren't available before. Like, because your shop only gives you certain ones, you can get some other ones here. Uh, I have already bought some of these. Uh, we got windflowers and tulips. So yeah, I've grabbed some of those. There's also shrubs here. Uh, these were not available at all previously. I believe they are part of the update, adding these to the game. So that's exciting. Um, if I show you my inventory, you can see I've already bought all of the things Leaf has to offer. These things are the shrubs and these are the different flowers. Uh, so yeah, that's happened. Um, just move this fossil down. There, there we go. Um, so we've kept, um, so yeah, that's Leaf. Uh, I assume he'll be popping up more than once, but he's here today and I bought some stuff from him, so that's cool. I don't know if he'll be like a permanent fixture, if he'll get added to the shop or something later, but at the moment he's out here, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, bye Leaf. Uh, I, I believe another thing we want to look at is the museum, so we're going to make our way over there now. Uh, here it is. See, it looks pretty awesome at night. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. If I talk to Blathers, maybe he's got some ideas. Hi, Blathers. Good evening, Danielle. I've mean to tell you the good news, Hooty Hoo. Thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks at Cantalot, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Thus, I am considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution's repertoire. So, if you should find yourself in possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. Okay, so works of art. That's the new thing. Um, this was in previous games. It wasn't added to this one until this update. Uh, I don't know where they're going to go because there's no more room in the museum. Maybe it'll open up here somewhere once I start finding some art. Um, but yeah, um, you could always give art to Blathers to go to the museum. You might be wondering where to get art. Well, that's another thing that's new. And we're going to go have a look at that. Uh, we're going to make our way to the top end of town, the north end, I guess, but also there's a cliff, so it's also the top. <laughs> uh, got a bug there. Oh, um, also, if you look at the Nook Miles tasks, you'll see that uh, there's some limited time Nature Day activities. Presumably, these will stop showing up once Nature Day is over, but yeah, you get some more Nook Miles Plus tasks that appear to have pretty good bonuses on them. That one's planting shrubs. Uh, I haven't seen any more yet because I haven't done any of them yet, but I'm guessing it'll give you some more once you clear that one. Uh, anyway, this bridge was here is here now. In the previous video I did, you saw me like deciding to place a bridge here, but it wasn't here yet. Now it's here. Uh, I also, after placing that bridge, went and put some inclines in. So let's go have a look at those. 
Uh, we make our way over here. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, like the bridges, the inclines come in lots of different varieties, but the cheapest one is this natural kind. So that's what I've used everywhere. Um, because it looks nice, and also it's the cheapest one. Uh, and yeah. So, you can get up here without a ladder now. Uh, and if you come over here, you can also get up here without a ladder now. And the main advantage of having inclines and bridges and stuff is that villagers don't, like, um, animals, like, uh, Lolly here, uh, yeah, sure, don't seem to be able to use vaulting poles and ladders. So if you want them to get into, like, the middle of town and, and wander around everywhere, they need to have amenities to do that with. Uh, so I have given them a few options to do those sorts of things. Uh, I need to make a new, uh, net, but I'll do that shortly. Anyway, uh, if we keep going this way... So here we are at the far end of town. If you look down there, you can actually see that there's some stuff going on. Uh, I think it's just here, maybe? I might, I might not be in quite the right spot. Nope, that's not it. But yeah, you can go down here, there's a little ledge, it's quite hard to see what you're doing here, but you can't fall off, so feel free to run along as much as you want on this narrow ledge. Okay, here we go. Here's a beach. So this is the secret beach. Um, everyone has a secret beach, uh, and you can hang out here and do secret beach stuff, and if you want, you can put a creepy skeleton here, and then when people walk along on the cliff, they'll be creeped out. Uh, the reason that we're here, though, is that this is apparently where Red will show up. Uh, Red 2Ds is a fox who was in previous games and was basically a shady merchant who was the only way to get works of art in the game. You could get forged works of art from him because he's a shady merchant, so you had to watch out for that. Um, but it's the only way to get good works of art as well, so you had to take the risk sometimes. Uh, there, are, there were ways to see if the art was forged by examining it carefully in New Leaf. I don't know if they're keeping that feature. I would hope so. Um, but yeah, Red should arrive at the secret beach and we can talk to him and be like, Hey Red, we want to buy some art from you. But he's not here yet. But I believe he will be, so let's keep an eye out. Uh, he might show up maybe tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, there's the moon. I assume you know about the moon already, so I won't go into too much detail there. Uh, and let's go down here. I should probably plant these shrubs somewhere just to demonstrate what they do and also... There's another incline here, and also to, uh, get the miles and stuff. Um, I guess I'll put them near the campsite, might be nice. I don't know if I've shown the campsite in a while, but it's over here. Oh, Sparkle, uh, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, the campsite's here, I have this sign, uh, this is from Pocket Camp. Uh, there's a couple of items you can get if you're playing Pocket Camp and you're playing this game. There are items you can get in this game that look like stuff from Pocket Camp. It's kind of pointless, but, I mean, it's, it's also kind of neat if you really like Pocket Camp. I didn't bother to get the fortune cookie cart because I don't like that part of Pocket Camp, but I got some of the other things. <laughs> um, the big marketplace flag or whatever I'm going to put near my Able Sisters and Nook's Cranny shortly, but... Let me just catch that. There we go. You can also get little models of the two types of camper van in that game. And the, um, I think Vintage Camper defaults to having trans flag colours on it, so that's pretty cool in my opinion. Oh, something happened. Oh yeah, also, um, you can see whenever you do one of these tasks, it says you got title keywords. I did not know what that meant. I thought it was just like a, a joke of some kind, like, hey, you got, you got these two words because you did a thing, but they are actually useful. Um, Basically, you go to your passport here, and when you go to change your title, I assumed you could just type in anything, but you can't. Instead, you have to choose uh, keywords to go on this side, keywords to go on this side, and you can make phrases out of them. Not an efficient father. Efficient eventuality. Yeah, so you unlock more options to use here as you do Nook Miles, basically. Um, and yeah, you can make up lots of silly phrases. I don't know if I have life form yet. Let's have a look. Uh... I think I have ultimate. No, I don't have ultimate. Okay, so I can't, uh, I can't be Shadow the Hedgehog yet. Um, but we'll get there. And yeah, so that's just how it makes the title. You just choose from keywords. If you want to write whatever you want, you use the comment, because that one just gives you text. 
I'm not sure why they don't just don't both just give you text, but that's how it works. Um. Anyway, we're gonna go over here because there's some sparkles in the ground, and we're gonna grab some bells and dig in the wrong spot. Anyway, yeah, uh, I think I've shown this before on video, but basically there's a sparkle spot in town every day. You want to bury 10,000 bells in the hole because then it grows into the money tree and gives you 30,000 bells. Because it grows three three bags of bells that are the same as the one you buried, so. It's just a good way to get some money. Anyway, fossil. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's plant those shrubs. Uh, let's put them... Hmm... I don't want it to be in the way is the problem, and pretty much everywhere I can put something, it's going to be in the way at some point. Uh, maybe over here? Let's try putting it back here and see how that looks. Plant. Oh, it doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a little tree. Alright, well I can put a few more of these down, and we'll see how they go. I'm guessing they take a little while to grow. So yeah, that's the same as when you plant a tree, it just puts down a little, little shrub sort of thing like that. A little... Sapling is the word, because these are shrubs. Okay, so we do that task. I'm guessing it'll give us another one. No, it just gave us generic ones. Uh, I assume eventually you'll get more Nature Day specific ones, but I don't know how often they come up. Uh, it may be very rarely, or it may be all the time. We just don't know. I should probably make myself another net so I can catch all these bugs I keep seeing. <laughs> Also, I think... Oh, cool. Yeah, so um, there's some miles for planting shrubs. There we go. Verdant wonder. Uh, I assume that's been added with the update as well, so that's cool. Um, the specific, like, obvious things aside, I'm not seeing a whole lot that's different. Uh, let me just go to my crafting table. I was kind of hoping for, like, UI improvements in this update, but I understand if that's not a thing they could do just yet. Uh, let's see, make myself a net. So yeah, this is exactly the same, that hasn't changed at all. Um, would have been nice to have, like, a fast crafting option or something. But I'm not seeing one. There we go. Okay. Got a net again, there we go. Uh, let's just... that's a slingshot. Whip out my net. There we go. Um, I'm carrying a lot of stuff right now. Can I have plenty of this inside? Maybe. Yeah, I can put that furniture inside, so let's free up a few slots. Um, I think my house already had a second floor last time we visited. Yeah, uh, it now has a basement too. I haven't done much with it, but there's a basement. Um... We can have a look. I haven't really put anything in here as far as I remember. Yeah, basement's unchanged. It's the same size and shape as the second floor. So if you want to... It's just an extra room. It's the same size. As far as I know, that's the last expansion you can get in this game. Uh, that's what Tom Nook said anyway. But, you know, it might change when, when the game updates and they add more stuff. So, you know, we'll see how we go. Uh, let me see. Do, 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 do. I could just plant some of these flowers and figure out some slots that way. I'm carrying more than enough flowers to do a flowers task if the game asks for one. Uh, let's just go over here, grab that. Okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know what a windflower looks like, but I guess we'll find out. There we go, that freed up a whole row of inventory. That's more like it. Okay. <laughs> There's leaf again. Okay, um... Oh, I should have put my pajama dress in with the other stuff. And I didn't. Oh well. Okay, we're now pretty much looking for bugs, so let's keep an eye out. That's a bug. It's now my bug. Catch. Haha. <laughs> Good violin beetle. Oh, was that enough? 
I guess that was all I needed? Yeah, okay, cool. It's still talking about nature day activities, so I'm guessing it'll show me some more if I keep doing things. I feel like I should probably do that just to see. Um, where's... You're not a neighbor. I'm going to talk to someone other than you, Leaf. Any other person. Hello. Sure is. Good for you. I'm going to go in this house now. <laughs> This is Colton's house, I think? I don't know, people are outside so much, it's hard to remember. Yep, this is Colton's house. Y yeah, yeah, I, I know. I know we have a bank. I was burying them so they'd grow into a money tree. <laughs> uh, I want to do 10 flowers, I can do that. So yeah, um, they've added Leaf, which is cool, because uh, he's a he's a nice character. They've apparently also added Red, but we can't see them yet, because Red's not there, but I'm told that's where they'll show up once they do show up. Also, the museum apparently has room for works of art, but we don't have any, so we can't really test out that part yet. Uh, we'll have to wait till Red arrives, and hopefully people know, we'll figure out how you spot forgeries, because I don't want to buy any stolen art. Or forged art. Stolen art's probably fine. The problem with forged art is you give it to Blathers to look at, he realises it's a forgery and it becomes worthless. Um, like immediately. It's just like, oh, that, it's crap now. Um, if you sell it before uh, having Blathers look at it, you can actually get the full price of the art that way, which is kind of funny. Uh, you, can, you can go ahead and defraud the the, the bank or whatever, not the bank, defraud the nooklings, I guess. Uh, grabbing shells off the beach. Uh, I haven't seen anyone else wandering around today. Flick visited a few times, which is great because Flick is amazing. And CJ visited once, which was adorable. CJ and Flick are very cute, and I'm a big fan of them both. And I support their relationship. Uh... How many shells was that? Uh, four, five, six, eight, not quite enough. Oh, nine, actually. Still not quite enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do -do. Oh, yeah, um, also my nook, Nook's Cranny is actually closing tomorrow. Uh, they mentioned that, uh, in the, like, opening announcements, and there's a bulletin board message and stuff. Um, basically, it's upgrading to the next stage. I think you need to have played for 30 days and bought a certain amount of stuff for that to happen, so I guess I've managed to do that. Uh, I have played for more than 30 days, for sure. Uh, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Plus, you can have that as well. Uh, I'll keep the rest of my stuff, thanks. Thanks, Timmy and Tommy. Okay, uh, that does that one. There we go. Gotta hit some rocks. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to go. I've pretty much covered what I wanted to cover. Um, yeah, this upgrade is focused on... The up the update is focused on the upcoming event rather than fixing, like, general things that needed fixing, which is a little annoying, because there were some things that could do with a fixin'. Uh, let's head in here. Uh, we can go to the Able Sisters here, and they will, uh, greet us, and also... Ooh, hang on. Magician stuff. Maybe I can use that with the magic kit. Hmm. Hi, Sable. You know the tapestry hanging on the left wall over there? It belonged to our mother. Every time I look at it, I get this warm feeling inside. Like when she would hug me. Oh, sweetie. It's sort of silly since I'm inside the shop all day, but sunny weather helps me work faster. Or maybe it's just that I'm making shorter sleeves? I love you, Sable. I love you so much. 
Okay, so this tapestry. I guess that's the left wall. Depends on which way you look at it. Because like, she's always facing this way. You would think the left wall for her would be this one, but... You know. Thanks, Mabel. Thanks, please come again. I guess I already have all the types of patterns that Sable can give you because I hadn't talked to her today and she didn't have anything for me, so... Interesting. Um... I have forgotten what the game wants me to do. Oh yeah, I can hit some rocks. Let's, let's hit some rocks. Let's hit this rock. Eh, nah, let's get a different rock. I like this one because I have my air conditioner position just here, so I can just stand here, dig one hole, and do it instead of two. Oh, it's the money rock. How convenient. I like money in this game. I don't, I don't like it in real life. I like it in this game. Money, money, money in my pockets in the video game, not for real. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kaching. So, yeah, I guess since the planting shrubs and stuff is limited time, I guess you just can't get shrubs after leaf leaves, which is a little questionable. There's some misunderstanding how this is going to work, which is possible. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just that the event is limited time, but there will still be shrubs to get differently. I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I'm really hoping they don't veer towards the whole, you know, limited time event. It is impossible to do these things if you miss the event. Nature that basically... The, the whole pocket camp approach, basically, because... That game is just made of time-limited events that just force you to pay way too much attention and play all the time and... Ugh. Otherwise you miss content, and obviously you want all the content. Hmm. I mean, they already did the bunny day thing where you had to get a bunch of stuff. That was basically a gyrodite thing from Pocket Camp. But with six types of gyrodite instead of one, made it a little more interesting, but still really annoying. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I've been concerned that this game's gonna do the whole pocket camp thing because they've been making that game progressively worse and worse since they created it to monetize it. But you know, this one is one you just buy outright and there's no paid DLC or anything, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I found a bell cricket. We'll see. Um... Oh, Lolly's comfy under that tree. Hi, Lolly. Oh no, you're frozen. Oh no, that's not good. Got room? Yeah, I got room. Um, I guess that's about it for this video. There's not a whole lot to show you. Like, Leaf is here and you can buy things from him if you want, but it's not a lot of stuff, honestly. Hmm. I can talk to him again. I haven't talked about weeds yet. That was another option. So let's have a quick look at that. Uh, also, there's the last fossil. <laughs> there we go. All right. Du -du -du. Hello, Leaf. Uh, let's talk weeds. Oh, Danielle. Are you interested in selling weeds? Yeah, I know how it feels to start pulling weeds and suddenly realize, wow, this could take a while. Huh? <laughs> but gardening should make you happy, Danielle. Which is why I've decided to buy weeds from you at a very special high price point. And if you act now, I'll double what the Nooklings are offering. That's 20 bells per clump of weeds. It's a win-win. You get paid for all that hard work you put into pulling weeds, and I get to enjoy your pristine, weed-free island landscape. So, can I buy you weeds? Uh, okay. If I'm counting right, you've got four clumps of weeds. Hmm. Which would be... Oh yes, 80 bells. Yeah, sure. Interesting. Okay, so in the previous game, New Leaf, Leaf had a weeds thing, but he didn't buy them. 
you actually had the option to pay Leaf to remove weeds from your town instead of doing it yourself. Um, they've changed that, which is interesting. I guess because weeds are an item now and you can sell them, Leaf wants to buy them and he sells it for double. It's kind of the same way uh, Flick and CJ pay you more for fish and bugs. I think they do double the normal price. So yeah, Leaf buys weeds at double the normal price. It's kind of a weird thing to have, but I guess it makes sense. I don't know, it's, it's a little weird. Hello, Nooklings. Uh, I want to sell some things that are not weeds because I already sold those to that other guy. So yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much sense it makes. Like the, the idea of the, of the weed cleaning service, like you could keep your island nice and clean by paying Leaf instead of doing it yourself. Uh, his service was more expensive the more weeds there were to get rid of, so it motivated you to get rid of weeds yourself if you could, but if you couldn't, you had a backup plan, I guess. I, I don't know, I feel like that's a weird addition to the game, but uh, I guess it sort of makes sense. No, not really, I don't know. Anyway, give me this digital alarm clock. <laughs> Thanks, Timmy and Tommy. Hmm. So, yeah, um, I never used the, you know, weed selling service or whatever. Uh, Leaf also gave you the golden axe in the previous game, if I recall correctly. Yeah, you had to buy, I think, a hundred saplings from him because he sold tree saplings. And then he would give you the golden axe, if I recall correctly. I think he also gave you... No, he didn't give you the golden watering can. There was something else he gave you, though, but I forget what. Might have been the silver watering can. The, the golden one you got from Isabel for having a perfect town. Uh, button storage. What am I doing in my house? Forgotten already. Yeah, I wasn't trying to come here. I was trying to go to resident services. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's, um, that's Leaf, who is now in this game. Uh, I don't know if he's going to stick around. I'm kind of concerned. I don't want it to be like a you missed out thing. Special Nook Miles activities, Nature Day event, yeah. I've actually been, uh, reduced the interest rate off it to all savings accounts. What? Why? That's not good. Is that part of the update? Uh, I got a present for the update from Nintendo. I hadn't looked in my mail yet, obviously. Hey, you like mysteries, right? I found a fossil that's really got me wondering how much dinosaurs could deadlift. I'm totally stumped. I'm sending it your way. Let me know what you find out. Did you actually send me a fossil? Doesn't look like it. Uh, marketplace decoration, KK song, and flick! Danielle, patron of the arts. Behold, my piece inspired by the wasp is at last finished. I worked tirelessly to capture its likeness for you and I hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. Flick, the arthropod artiste. I love Flick so much. It, it is just unbelievable how much I love Flick. Let me just put this model out so you can have a look at it. I assume it's just a big wasp, but let's, let's take a look. Oh wow, look at it. Oh, that's so cool. Hang on, I'll go into camera mode and get a good look. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Flick. And we've also got some other stuff. Um, we got a world map from Nintendo for the update, I guess. Uh, there's the marketplace decoration. Also got a song. Uh, the bell bag rug is for reducing the interest rate. I'm not sure why they decided to reduce the interest rate. That's a weird thing to do in an update. Hmm. Anyway, um. So, yeah. <laughs> Flick is lovely. Oh, 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 we're good. Oop. Yeah, whenever it pops up the little Nook Miles thing, I assume pressing ZL will select the Nook Miles option, but it doesn't. It only selects the option you had last selected, regardless, so it's a little annoying. Uh, register. Can I register this? Yes. Sometimes you've already got a song. You can have one copy of it in the system, which makes sense, but I can never keep track of which songs I have. Anyway, I was going to go in here and talk to Tom Nook about the event. 
Welcome to Nookstop. Um, let's go shopping. Special goods. Hypno KK, there we go. Um, that's all I really want from here, so I guess I'm good. Actually, is the... There's a DLC item. Um, it's free DLC, but basically there's an extra extra piece of furniture you can get for having an online subscription or whatever. Which is kind of obnoxious, but whatever. There it is, Nook Inc. Silk Rug. Meh. Might grab it later. Anyway, uh, let's let's talk to Tom and see what he has to tell us about today. The the day of, of, of nature, or nature month or whatever. Week. Nature... Weeks? Special nature day promotion for Nook Miles Plus members. During the event, we're giving out more miles than usual for your eco-friendly island activities. We we'll also have a special gift, so do consider participating in the event, won't you? Of course, it's my hope that island residents will be eco-friendly all the time, not just around nature day. What's this? You've already taken part in the nature day activities, haven't you, Danielle? Yes, yes. So like, so like you to jump into the action. You're a shining example for the rest of Canterlot. Now, as you've demonstrated your eco-mindfulness, I have a special present for you. It's perfect for any gardener. It's a DIY recipe for crafting your very own hedges. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll make a couple hedges. Let's check, let's check this out. Keep up the good work. I truly love to have you continue taking part in our Nature Day activities. Okay, so that's the reward, I guess, the special present that it mentioned. Are they made of, like, weeds? Or, yes, weeds, tree branches, and stone. Alright, well, I have plenty of those things. Let's go to my house, which is where I keep those things. Uh, I'll try just using the crafting table without looking at storage, because there's a chance they've made that change, so that you don't have to get things out of storage to craft with them in the house. But they probably haven't, but I'm gonna try anyway. Um, I think I mentioned this in a previous video. If you're in your house using a crafting table in your house, you should be able to use all the materials you have in storage automatically without pulling them out by going into storage separately. You can't, but you should be able to. Um, move that to my pockets. Move the branches to my pockets. And let's make some hedges. Let's go. I guess hedges are a type of fence, basically. I assume they probably work pretty similarly to things like... Uh, the straw fence there. Yeah, it, it looks like a fence. I think it might be a fence. <laughs> let's try them out. Um, I, I assume they work the same as the other fences, but let's just give it a try. See what they do. Um, let's, let's go over here. Put a little bit of a hedge around this house. Uh, hedges, build fence. Okay, yes, yeah, exactly the same. You hit build fence, you get out this little hammer, and then you press the A button. When you're in a spot, you're allowed to place a hedge. I think here will work. And yeah, you just drop it down like that. It's kind of hard to see how this looks. That's all right. Yeah, that's not bad, that looks pretty good. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, there's a new type of fence, which is hedges, and you can make them. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> cool beans. Um, I'm just gonna put that marketplace decoration in as well, I reckon. Um, should be some room over near the Able Sisters. Do 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 do. Uh, nope, that's the wasp model. This one, place. It's facing the wrong way. I can't turn it. <laughs> okay, let's try doing it from over here. It's big. <laughs> it actually takes up like three tiles across, so I have to move that bit of fence. Eh, might as well. I've got this paving here, so it'll probably look better without without all that fence in the way. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, so yeah, um, looks alright. Can we move it back a little bit? It's gonna get in the way though, it's not like against a wall. Let me see, you can't actually walk under it, even the parts that are like clearly walk underable. See? Now I can't reach the vending machine. <laughs> oh my goodness, maybe I'll put it there instead of this sign. Let's just let's give that a try, see how that looks. Um, no, not that one. This one. So yeah, there's, there's a thing like this at Marketplace in Pocket Camp, and it's pretty much as useless as it is here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the Apple Sisters are closed. I guess they close at 9? Yeah, they do. Hmm. Alright. Whereas the Nooklings stay open until 10, because reasons. I don't know. Um... I'm not sure what I want to do with this marketplace decoration. It's real big and it takes up a lot of space. Maybe I'll put it in the middle here, like right over any of the plants. Like that, and then... No, I'll shift it one over. It's, it's not quite lined up with where I want it to be. Like this. And then... Hmm... Is that two there? Uh, I don't really like how that looks. I'll, I'll think about it. Anyway, um, I think that's probably about it for this video. I've demonstrated the stuff I was planning to demonstrate. Um, and some hedges, which I didn't expect. Um, and the museum apparently can take works of art, but I assume that wing only shows up once you have a work of art to put in it? Because it's not showing up yet. I forget which way I need to do this from. I think this side maybe? Or maybe it's just the same either way. Anyway, yeah, um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, um, next time uh, I'll probably try to watch when, record a bit when Red's around so you can see what he's like, um, or they're like, I don't know Red's pronouns, I think it was he, him, but you know, it might have changed. Um, and yeah, um, cool. I am looking forward to seeing what's in the museum, but it's not a, it's in the, um, art ring of the museum, but it doesn't exist yet, so I can't show you. Which is a shame. Thanks for watching! Bye!